Hi, I'm Michael Schechter from abettermess.com, and today I wanted to talk about how a truly lazy person writes in Markdown. Now, Markdown is this great language that makes it fast and easy to uh, write, but also quickly format whatever you're writing for the web. One of the ways it's primarily done is by doing what's called wrapping text, and that's putting a symbol both before and after the word you're trying to emphasize. And we use this to make text bold, to italicize it. You can also use it when uh, trying to place text between brackets, parentheses, and quotations. Let me kind of quickly walk you through how that's done. Now, I wasn't a big fan of how ByWord handles bolding. It, uh, as you can see, leaves the word highlighted, and that doesn't work for me because I want to just be able to keep typing. So what I did was I created a macro in Keyboard Maestro that wraps the word in the two asterisks to make it bold, but leaves the cursor outside so I can just keep typing. For formatting as I write, I tend to use Text Expander. This way I get a great pop-up, I can type in my word, hit enter, and go on like nothing happened. You also use the same exact tactics for italics, it's just one asterisk instead of two, and I use Keyboard Maestro again for existing text and Text Expander for anything that I'm writing as I go. One of the great things about ByWord too is it automatically wraps text for you. So if I want to do brackets, parentheses, or quotations, I simply highlight the word, hit the first key, and it automatically takes care of the pairing for me. And you can do that for one word or multiple words. You can also do this as you write. If you type a quotation, a parenthesis, or a bracket, it'll just wrap the word for you and you can start typing. Next up, let's talk links. And there's four different ways I do this. Two of them use Text Expander, and two of them use Keyboard Maestro. Uh, Brett Terpstra is a guy who's done a lot for Markdowns, created a lot of tools, so I'm just going to kind of give him a uh, little props and use him as our example. So first things first, let's make a link to Brett's website where we don't have the text in and uh, we also just, we know the link but we don't want to go look for it and put it into our clipboard. Once again, our friend Text Expander comes to the rescue and gives you two fields, one for the text you want to use and one for the, uh, the link. And you'll see the word uh, Brett Terpstra kind of comes in between the bracket and the link actually comes within parentheses. Next up, we're actually going to go use Text Expander to create a new link, but this time we're going to assume you actually have the URL on the clipboard. So we use our snippet, and that'll call up our text box. This time you're only entering in the text, because as you can see, it took the clipboard and actually entered it in in the URL's position. And that's pretty much how you make uh, two different types of links using Text Expander. Now let's assume you've already written your document and you want to go in and format it. This is where Keyboard Maestro really sings. So you start by highlighting your text, then you go and evoke your macro, and as you'll see, it took both the text on your clipboard and the text that you already had highlighted and turns it into a link. You can also do this if you don't have the link. Just highlight your text, Keyboard Maestro will call up a pop-up box, you type in the URL you're looking for, and just like that, you've kind of made your link on the go. And uh, for this one, we actually took Brett's uh, Twitter URL. Now you get into a few areas of Markdown where I find it's really fast to just kind of do it the traditional way. Uh, for headers, all you need to do is put in one, two, three, or four hashes for an H1 through 4 header. For page breaks, it's simply three dashes. I, I don't really use any tricks for that. Block quotes, on the other hand, I do like to highlight the text and use the... Uh, command apostrophe uh, keyboard shortcut and by word. It makes life a lot faster, but you can just as easily put the symbol in. Last but not least, you have a terrible Billy Madison joke and numbered and bulleted lists. And these are created just as you see them here. So what's the point of all this? Well, if you switch over to preview, you'll see all that markdown syntax we've done come to life. You'll see your headers, your links, your bold and italicized text, block quotes, numbered and bulleted lists. And what you can do from there is just go down, copy the HTML, it's really clean, and post that right into your website. To learn more, go to abettermess.com.